Well, hello there. Welcome to Room Room Zoom and uh, the channel for motorcycles and cars and whatever. Today we're going to discuss this head unit here, this this center console here in the VE Commodore uh, Series Two, Series One, Series Two. They all have the same head unit, pretty much. So I've had a request from a viewer, Daniel Patton. Thank you, Daniel, for your question about adding speakers and uh, and a subwoofer to this unit. And um, I'm going to show you what I've done for mine. Okay, so here we go. So in this uh, 2010 VE Series 2 Commodore, I think it's a Series 2, you have an integrated head unit. And it was around this time, around 2010, when, um, and just a little bit before that, where Holden switched to a integrated stylish head unit. And the screen is up there and it's much sun damaged. It's also linked to here. It also has steering wheel controls for the radio. And you can on mine, not on my wife's over there, but on this one, for whatever reason, you must have the module to connect a phone, but only the phone part of it. So I'm not quite sure how that all works, but I can't play music through the integrated system. But what I can do is make phone calls, but I don't use that bit, but anyway. So the thing is that the stock stereo is, it's perfectly okay. It's actually not a bad little system. So you've got a speaker in the door right there. It's a, a decent sized speaker and you also have a little tweeter a little tweet a little tweet 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 up here on both sides so that's a good little feature it does create a good little sound stage but being a commodore owner i really enjoy bass and so i had to do something about that so i'd had plans of maybe putting something down here or attaching a unit down here like a you know one of those singled in units but it's you know the, the world's moved on a little bit from cd players and stuff so here we go this is what i have done in my car it's a little bit dodgy so just bear with me <laughs> i'll explain it all so uh what i do have is the good old workaround of having a one of these units in here just straight from ebay i think it was and that's a fm modulator so i have that set so that connects to a FM station on here so just it all works together and then it's like a radio station so I just push channel 6 and it comes up at, with that and then that connects to Bluetooth that's your Bluetooth modulator thing to the phone that I'm using right now so I can just play music and I tend to stick with YouTube or sometimes I have my own songs on the phone okay so that's that's basically what happens up the front here because of all this integrated section here i didn't want to play with the head unit so instead of changing this out um i've kept this and i found another way to put some bass into the system and that is that on the back here you have another speaker i've used the positive and negative speaker wires to be spliced out and they run all the way to the back all the way over to the back over there and let me show you what i've got back there so here's where the dodginess begins so i just picked up this sub box um it was very cheap but uh, my god it does such a good job for 80 bucks worth of subby so what it is is a fusion box with an integrated amp so here it is here here you go so i didn't have to muck around with a separate amplifier so that was a great little pickup um, you can never doubt cash converters with coming up with the goods for subbies. But then you've got this mess over here. <laughs> it's been like this for a while. I'm not proud of it, but it does the job. All right, so here we go. Yeah, I'm not real proud of this area here, but uh, it is what it is. Modulator here, this thing here. And what this little thing does, why has it got sticky tape on it? Uh, Anyway, this thing here is from um, Jayka. So this little speaker wire here, it's connected up here, you can see it here. It's connected to the wires coming from that rear speaker and that creates a signal, which is then converted into a signal, an RCA signal, and you've got the RCS coming out. 
which then plugs into the amp. And it's the easy way to integrate a subwoofer into a, um, a system here. And then now uh, I needed a power supply, so luckily the battery's at the back. And here you go, you can see the positive and negative. <laughs> like I said, it's all very dodgy. I haven't cleaned it up. Um, maybe I should. Anyway, we'll see. And then the final issue that I had is that you need a remote for the amp and uh, this, this blue one here, see that rem, rem? So what that means is that when the car's off, the amplifier stops, and then when the car's turned on, the amplifier comes on. And the way that I solved that issue, because I had run my battery flat a couple of times, <laughs> was that to splice out from this loom over here, I've got, is it called a loom? I, I don't know. So what I did here is I, I undid all this, and then I look for a wire that comes on every time I turn the ignition on, okay? And that, that this blue one here was the one that came on and off when I turned the key, which is what I needed. So it turns, that one sends a signal to the amp and allows it to turn on when it's time to uh, hit the tunes. So if you were to take this unit out of the system by putting in a different DIN, that would not work, I don't think, at all. So. Um, I didn't want to play with that bit because, you know, it's, 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 it's not too bad. So um, what I do in here, once I've set up the back, is just hit the button and then audio and then bass and then you can still adjust the bass. So what you're doing is adjusting the speaker bass, the, you know, the normal um, mid-range drivers. Because the bass works off the speaker, when you adjust this, it also then... Um, changes the base okay so that's all you have to do there and yeah that's about it um so yeah it's it's sort of i think I'm probably the best workaround for this car rather than having to play with this massive unit here i did see a really cool company in the us do a head unit swap out here that kind of puts a huge panel here it looks really cool i kind of want to do it but it's like 1200 bucks and i'm <laughs> yeah no that's not gonna happen but um you know, if you've got the money and you love your car and you're going to keep your car, that might be a good option for you. So if you're interested in putting a bit of depth into the sound quality that you get in your Commodore, well, um, yeah, definitely an easy, easy job. Like, it looks complicating with the wiring, but all you're doing, take the door panel off, wire from there through to the back. You just run it underneath, underneath that panel there, through to the back. And then it's got big batteries at the back, so that's convenient. And oh, it's just, yeah huge improvement to the sound and if you love your bass because you know commodores you've got to have the bass when you're thumping through more airfield yeah <laughs> it's the way to do it so again thank you daniel for your question i hope i've shed some light on what i've done and uh why i've chosen to keep this integrated thing here rather than start to play with everything it does say blopunkt there and blopunkt is a um well, for, as far as I know, they're a rep reputable audio manufacturer. And so, uh, yeah, not, not bad overall. So in terms of the front stage, I do like to listen to my music loud and I have pretty much blown them apart. <laughs> the, the cones are gone and there's some vibratory sounds coming out of them um, at some point. But the bass is up so high that I can hardly hear it. So it doesn't really matter. So, uh, <laughs> But yeah, look, they're, they're, they're not bad. I think they're about um, one of those six inch sort of s size um, speakers. So that would like, no, if you, if you want to get something a little bit better in there, I would keep the tweets because tweets are tweets, you know, that, that I wouldn't play around too much with those up there. But this down here, you could easily replace the speaker behind there to a quality unit, um, something with a little bit more, you know, thump in the mid range. Or something with um, it's it's, it's, not, it's pretty clear, but something with a bit more clarity. Yeah, that's an easy job. Just panels off, and the speaker is uh, attached to the door, not not that section there. So that's an easy swap out. All right, just finally, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, please hit the subscribe button. It would I would really appreciate it if you supported my channel. Um, I've been very busy recently, and uh, it's been kind of tough to make time for videos, but. Uh, over there, I just have a, a new motorbike that is uh, just waiting for some quality content. <laughs> so that'll happen soon. Loving the Commodore still. We're about to sell that one, I think, and uh, replace it with a uh, another Australian favourite, the good old Toyota Camry. Um, so that's coming. 
you know, the three litre city just keeps on rolling on and it's a, a very nice solid car and the perfect daddy taxi, this one, the perfect daddy taxi. And um, so thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next video.